Okay, thought I'd do an update on uh, what's been going on here. Uh, got the batteries all hooked up and 12 volt um, parallel configuration again, hooked up to my uh, 4000 watt inverter. And I currently have my mini split hooked up and running on this. Uh, I'm pulling about 300 and some watts. It's on AC right now on, I think, medium fan. Uh, battery monitor showing, yeah, about 300 watts. Inverter, probably not going to show up on the camera too well, 230. But it's doing a pretty decent job. <clears throat> but that's all that's running on it, so just kind of playing around with it. Here is my charge controller. Just using one 400 watt panel currently, and this from past uh, experiments and exper experience um, has not been enough solar for sure. So here's just my one 400 watt panel I've been using. So there's that, and then I'll take you around back and show you the mini split I installed on this guy. <clears throat> so here's the mini split I installed on this. Sorry, I can't get quite far enough away because this fence here and tree. But here's the mini split. Just use these two uh, bed extenders to mount it on. And then you can see my line set is just hidden in this uh, plastic uh, pan down or whatever they call it. So my lines are run in. I cut a hole right back in there and ran them inside. And I've been running this for, uh, let me see, probably almost two years now like this. It's done pretty good. This is the 19 sear 110 uh, volt model. And I'll uh, take you inside and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we are inside the head unit of the mini split. There's a doorway so you can kind of get a look where we have this installed. And again, here's the line set. This runs along there and then up on top of these cabinets and out there to where I showed you on the outside. Like I said, it does a pretty decent job. Um, the only thing is when it gets I don't know, probably about 95 degrees or hotter. It has a little trouble keeping up that way, but other than that, it does all right. <laughs> 